Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Dordogne or if you're super British that can't pronounce foreign words properly, Dordogne LOL Anyway, this was developed by Hume Animation and Eugene Sequa I think I got that one right Published by Focus Entertainment and is usually available for £15.74 slash $19.99 but is included in Xbox Game Pass so as usual Get that game pass, yo. So we play as me, 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 or just me, me for short, as we go on a narrative adventure piecing together what happened with her childhood as she's forgotten some stuff. And as it turns out, quite the crap happened to her, which we will find out. As for achievements, the majority really are for sort of story related stuff, but there are quite a good chunky few bits of collectibles in terms of words, stickers and tapes that we need to grab. Also small yet subtly annoying ones like go to the toilet every day. And one big thing is uh, this game doesn't have chapter select so you will need to make sure you collect everything that I do otherwise you will have to start a brand new playthrough. Plus a few achievements for doing things like uh, doing things the first time etc. But if you fail those you can just quit out of the main menu and try again. All in all it is a nice slow chilled paced game. Uh, so it... It's, it's easy enough, flown along really easy enough, and should be done in around two and a half to sort of three hours-ish. So, with that being said then, let's do it. Now, what I should say is, um, in terms of dialogue, we are just going to be skipping the majority with je ne sais quoi. I mean, um, with the A button, sorry. Um, man, I feel so French right now. I feel awesome. Uh, got any slugs? Snails? Or is that just a stereotype on every, um, against all the French people on every American TV show ever? Who knows? Anyway, as I was saying, dialogue we will be smashing through with the A button. Cutscenes you cannot skip, um, which honestly is fine because this is, the story in this is actually really, genuinely really fantastic. So uh, it is definitely worth following along. And there's, like I said, there's quite a few cutscenes, there's quite a few dialogue. Um, so, yeah. For once, you don't have to listen to the perpetualness of beautifulness that is my voice. A lot of the time, you will just be watching this beautiful scenes. These beautiful scenes. Forever gone. I don't remember anything. So welcome to chapter one, the house. So uh, this is uh, obviously just a sort of bit of a tutorial, um, how it goes. Obviously, when you see the dialogue at the bottom there, we can smash through it. And obviously, this game is just full of like little sort of mini games like this. So you need to press the A button and flip the left stick up in order to open up the bag. Press the A button on the phone. And then what you're going to do is just press the A button and the sort of up arrow just a bunch of times in order to text old papa back. Fabrice! Yo! He's a very angry dad. He's a very sucky dad. Which, uh. Hmm. Oh yeah, I'd love to come home, except no, screw you. Right, last thing to do, uh, interact with the letter here again, mostly just pressing the A button. You can read through it if you want, um, but uh, a lot of the times, every letter that we will be picking up, we will just be backing out with the B button, unless you are really interested. So, once he puts the letter back, you can see the car rocking up and down. I hope the lorry driver's next to her. Don't, uh, don't take it the completely wrong way. I know what you men are like. Scratch that one. Dear Mimi, this letter will come as a surprise to you. Your father decided to cut ties with me 20 years ago. A choice I understood, but never accepted. 
This letter is about goodbyes. I will be gone by the time you read it. I've left something for you in my house. A box of memories and a letter. I hope you like to play and explore as much as you did the last time you visited Dordogne. Forever with you, Nora. So in case you haven't wondered yet, Nora is our grandmama who has sadly passed to the 16th dimension. So what we're going to do is walk up to the letterbox first when we can get control of Nini. Uh, we will interact with the panel here on the right, again, by just by pressing the A button. That's what you'd be doing for the majority. Uh, stick out a couple of the letters there. A lot of the times you will have to lift up the old uh, flapper bags, so do that. Lift up a couple of letters. It will just be a whole bunch of crud for a sec. Which is what we always get. And of course we get the letter there as well. You can't miss that one. Right, so what we need to do now is uh, grab the A button, shake it left to right. And then we will be able to take it off and we'll be able to spin it around. So, so with the, obviously the right stick there, just move it left or right or up and down for some reason uh, in order to rotate it to the back. Uh, apparently I'm having a little bit of problems there. Obviously the left stick to move the little pointer and then put it on both of the screws at the top in order to uh, screw them off. You will have to do it yourself as well. So once that's done, we can finally go ahead and take the lid off, or take the back off, and the key will just be chilling, killing, smoking, no bird, and we will now be able to get inside the house. Which, uh, I mean, it's not a very good hiding place, but since nobody seems around, it's all good. So lift up the latch there on the gate, push your way in. Nyeh, nyeh. Wow, you're getting very good at this uh, whole pushing gates open game, huh? Right, straight up to the door then. And again, it won't do it automatically, we're going to do it ourselves, so uh, pop the key in yourself, give that a little turn, with the uh, go left I think it was, then interact with the door handle, turn that to the left, and then as long as it's all the way, which it is, you can then push the middle in, push it all the way up, and here we go! Right, we are also going to be coming up to a the our first, sorry, missable achievement, so do not head for the candle just yet. What you're going to do is go to the kitchen, which is on the right hand side first. Hello, kitchen. And then immediately go out and head towards the left into the living room. And hello, living room. It smells funky in here. But it does get us the black as a happy color achievement. So it's a win-win. There we go. Now we can actually go up to the candle. And once again, we will be doing another mini game. Like I said, this game has a lot of these sort of tiny little easy mini games. So open up the matchbox then. A and left stick to the right. Pick one up. Again, you will have to put it up and then swipe it against the cardboard box. You know, if you've smoked a bunch of cigarettes and stuff, you'll know exactly what a matchbox does. Uh, but we do have some light now. Now we have to interact with the pen, which is just in the top right corner, or the right corner. Uh, another achievement is coming up. So we will take the pen lid off, or we'll interact with the pen first, remove the cap, and there will be a letter inside the cap, which we will be able to see. And that will get us the second achievement, the first memory.
And make sure she brushes her teeth. She's always trying to get out of doing it. Fabrice, I know how to bring up a child. I'm glad she's here with me. We'll have fun, the two of us. That was before we moved to the States. 1982, I think. We have to go now. Mimi? Mimi! Yes? Say goodbye. God damn, your father is a douchebag. Uh, but here we are then, little Mimi, back in the 80s with douchebag parents, uh, with a lovely little grandmama, though, so you can't complain, really. Right, so let's begin then, shall we? So every time we are in with Mimi, we will be looking for stickers, uh, and the first one is here on the left-hand side, so make sure to go to the left, pick it up, and this will be your first sticker, a snail. And again, with Mimi, so we'll be getting um, the binders, we'll be getting stickers. There's a second sticker here in the grass as well, just before the door. Um, and uh, words and tapes. And then with Big Mimi, it is just the uh, letters. So go over to the right here and interact with the gate. And there is a good reason we're doing this. We're just going to head down for our third sticker. Job done. Once you've got the third sticker, you can head straight back in the house. So before heading upstairs then, like I said, we're going to head to the left inside the living room. Remember, there's no chapter select in this game. There's a sticker right in front of us as well. Remember, there's no chapter select, so you have to grab everything in the, in one playthrough. Hopefully, the devs will sort that out and put a chapter select in because those things are really annoying. So before heading up the stairs again, just grab the next sticker there, just next to the stairs. It's a whole bunch of buttons, ones that pops off your jeans after a big uh, Sunday dinner. Uh, grab the third sticker here from the right on the mirror. Welcome to Mexico. I like a Mexico. And now we can actually just head straight upstairs. Job done. Couple of stickers. Flying through it, aren't we? Aren't we? Right. First of all, we're going to head to the right, which is where the bathroom is. And like I said, every day we need to make sure we go into the toilet. Obviously, you will, uh, you know, piss them or poop them which we don't want to do. And secondly, you have to go every day because it will get us the achievement in chapter seven uh, at the end of the game. So obviously I'll tell you exactly where we're going and when we need to do it. So once we've done that, we're going to head into our bedroom, which is just on the left of the stairs. And then we're going to interact with our suitcase. And all we've got to do then is just play a mini game here where we've got to open up the drawers, stick our crap inside. And apparently because we're a child, complain the whole way through. Sounds about right for children. Oh, and also, any time that you see these sort of dialogue options, you can literally pick any one. It honestly does not matter. So, um, obviously, we'll be seeing those sort of dialogue choices a lot through the game. But again, choices do not matter. So, I won't be speaking through any of those because, again, they do not matter. So 
So we got a map for our troubles, which is always nice. Thank you very much. Right, now we need to reach old Grandmama. So head down the stairs and into the right, into the kitchen. Great hat, by the way. Me, me, me. And we can go ahead and speak to Grandpapa. Mama. And apparently she's like, get the hell in that living room and goddamn draw something, you bushy-haired, foxtail-looking thing, you. Right, so, I'm not doing any homework. <laughs> Mimi's dad can screw a butt. Um, you don't actually have to interact with the city. That was just a mistake. We just need to head to the left, all the way to the left, to find this binder. So we're going to open it up. Now, this is another missable achievement that we are going to grab. Uh, so, obviously, don't, you know, mess it up. Um, so, basically, what we have to do is we're going to draw Mama and Papa, but we have to do it holding hands. Okay, so you don't, I thought you had to draw like a stickman character first, so I'm glad when it came up like this. So pop your dad down anyway. And again, you just go up and down and all around with a pen, and Mimi will draw it in. But when we draw old Mama Pie, we uh, have to do it where, where she is holding old Pappy's hand. So this is important here to get the achievement, so make sure that their hands are touching, give her a little draw, and the loving family achievement will unlock. Loving family in Mimi's dreams, I do believe. What? What have you done? This... Uh, this isn't I for drawing. Know. It looked old and... Of course it's old. I've had it since before your dad was born. I, it's just that I... So after a little bit of Nora time, she's uh, come to the realization that it's just a book and she needs to relax her body a bit, little bit. Right. So this is the binder then. So basically things that we collect in every chapter, um, we can uh, scroll across with the right trigger, left trigger. And then what we can do is we can basically put um, a sticker in, uh, a, f a sticker in, a flower, etc, etc. There is also, as we get the achievement here, there's an achievement for drawing in 20 pages, which we will get a little bit later on, but you do not want to go to chapter 7, because you uh, will be unable to open up the binder, and you will have missed that achievement. So again, I'll uh, explain a little more in just a bit. But here we are then, all Harry Potter glasses. We are good to go for chapter 2. Baptized in the river and delivered. Anybody remember that one? Good Charlotte, Avenged Sevenfold? Yes, good show, good show. Right, now we need to open up some curtains, get some natural light in here. So head into the kitchen first on the right, press the A button on the windows, and then do the same with the living room on the left. So with that done, we can head out of here, come towards the uh, camera, and we will basically end up now in the uh, downstairs bathroom. Have a look at the records on the left-hand side, just by the toilet. The amount of pee and poo germs on them are disgusting. Uh, but just flick all the way through them, and then what we're going to find is... Uh, come in. Come in. There we go. Then we're going to find a letter. So pick the letter up, open it, read it. Job done. So 
So let us head up the proverbial wooden stairs. Now, again, you don't have to read that. Um, I just done it because I accidentally done it. Once we're upstairs, go into your bedroom once again. 20 years. Look, it still smells of me. Did she ever not clean this thing? Again, open up the windows, of course, and the blinds. We're going to let in some lovely natural light. Eventually. Come on, Mimu. Moo Moo. <laughs> Then we will interact with the top drawer, and then we just need to pick up everything in there, which is a camera, it is a letter, and it is a tape. So obviously these are quite the unmissables. What? So, little mini game again then. What you need to do is uh, pop the flash up. Nice. And then we can just press the A button here to open up the little, uh, you know, dingling bit at the bottom. Uh, spin the camera around so it is facing you. Then grab the old floppy, <laughs> the old flop bags. Pop that one in and then just spin the camera around again. Attach the hooks and baby is your mama. Uh, no, wait. It's almost nine. Time for breakfast. I I remember how hard it was the first few days. Get up, you lazy sod. Great. Time to get dressed. Let's go ahead and do that. So she goes from pajamas to western cowgirl type thing. My god damn, look at that hair. Right, now we can head all the way to the right before we head downstairs. Very important, remember, we need to be going to the toilet every day. Uh, there is a sticker here just before the bathroom on the mirror. It's a bunch of corn flowers things. There is also another sticker by the bathtub as well. Um, we just nip past it. There it is. Uh, but whatever you do, it's all good first. If you do that first and then the toilet or vice versa, make sure that we take a little cheeky whiznickle. And then we can grab the sticker and head back out. Before heading downstairs, we're actually going to be picking up our first word. And it is right on the stairs. It is sun chrome. Or just scream or sun cream. Either way, uh, press the A button there when you're close to the word. And that will. And obviously, you can see on the left-hand side, when you've collected something, it'll pop up. So you should be on roughly the same as me. Uh, head into the bathroom, the downstairs bathroom. Again, interact with the uh, pee-pee poo-poo stained books. Or uh, I thought they were vinyl records, but they are actually books. Uh, pop them all down and we will grab another word. Silencio. And another tape. So make sure to grab uh, another tape. So also, if you're only on um, either like seven or eight words, that's fine. For some reason, it's given me an extra couple. I don't know why. Uh, but if you're on two or three less than me, do not panic yourself. So once we're in here, then we're going to go into the living room first, interact with the table to find yet a, another uh, sticker. It's a tea strainer, boy. So yeah, fair play, the old people had it hard back in the day. God, I love technology. Uh, go straight up to the table in the back and grab another warmth, an another word, which is warmth. And then that should be pretty much it for the living room. Now we can head back and head into the kitchen. All right, Gran. Uh, interact with the table to find another tape. 
And there it is, the next tape. And we're going to have some breakfast plus another missable achievement. It will be coming up. So you need to just go ahead and sit down. Now, with these do things first time achievement, if the achievement doesn't unlock straight away after you get it, or if you miss them or whatever, you can literally just press the start button, quit to the main menu, continue, and you will start right back here. So, uh, but you have to do that before finishing the mini game. Otherwise, you're screwed, man. So uh, bring the milk over to the bowl. Press down on the right uh, on the right stick to um, pour the milk once you've got it in a perfect position. And that will get you the achievement for uh, filling the bowl without wasting milk. Again, if you do, um, if you did not get the achievement or you uh, missed some milk in the bowl, quit out of the main menu, continue, and you'll come straight back in it. So you basically got unlimited tries, which is always good. It did uh, take me sort of once to sort of get used to it, and then it's all good. Uh, but basically, just put some butter and honey on your crap, and you can crap it out later. She would usually have snapped. So after that awkward breakfast where you just tipped all the cereal and didn't eat the weird looking uh, colored toast, what a waster, I'll have that instead. Uh, before we head down to the street with old grandmama, we're gonna head to the left and to find a, another word, which will be lavender. Lavender. And uh, yeah, there we go. So that should be good. We are uh, now good to go. Head down to the street. Um, and follow your grand mommy mams. I remember now. We would be walking down to the river. She'd be quiet, lost in her thoughts. My father hated it when I did that. He probably hated his mother too when she was like that. The river, the pebbles, the cold, cold water, the Dalton. So once we follow the down there, we got the new location here, the River Banks, which, believe it or not, is a bank with a river in it. Makes sense. Uh, that view is gorgeous. Thanks, Nora. <laughs> How did you know? Right, uh, grab the sticker here from the right-hand side. <laughs> I'm just joking. And we will get a bird sticker. And then if we head to the left, we can just go ahead and speak to Grana, who will give us the camera, which should get us the achievement now called... The camera. It's very, uh, very well named achievement, that one. The camera. Uh, so basically, obviously, what do you think you can do with the camera? We can take some pictures. There is an achievement for getting, uh, for taking 50 pictures, we, which we will get uh, a little later on in the game. So for now, just hip, scop, chip, scump, jump, and skip and stop and step and jump over at these rocks. You see the blue icon here at the bottom. Interact with that. And now we can take some lovely little pictures. So there are two that we are going to take um, first, specifically. And then we can just uh, basically mash the A button until the camera roll is full. So what you need to do then is just uh, hold the A button. If you want to get the camera up, press the down on the D-pad, by the way. Otherwise, you can press the A button to aim. And you're going to take a picture just in front of us there. The uh, rock. Good rock. And then if you move the camera up again and press the A button... We will see a bunch of hot air balloons, which we can take another picture of. Job done. And like I said, now, as you can see on the bottom right hand corner, you've got uh, 10 pictures available to you. So you can literally just keep spamming the A button until all 10 is full and we will get the cheese achievement. Cheese? Oh, I've got to wash that off. Sorry.
Once we've done that, then we can just press the B button to quit out of it. So this is what I was talking about earlier then, we can now create some pages. So all you got to do, you uh, go over to creation there and you have to put in one of each thing, obviously apart from the sound at the bottom. So with the pen, we will have to choose three different words. You can go on either chapter one, chapter two, it doesn't matter, but you got to choose three different words. It literally does not matter which one. And you can just pop that anywhere that you want on your page. Next, you can just pick uh, one of the flowers, which is one of the stickers that we've collected. So if you press the A button on there, you can uh, click and collect and select any sticker, pop that where you want. Same with a photo, grab one, put it anywhere you want. And that is how you do some binding stuff. That's how you put stuff in the binder. Again, a little later on, we will be doing 20 basically all at once, just to get it out of the way. For now, speak to your grandma whose hips are worsening. Go to hospital, grandma. Letters from the past, poems, pictures, postcards. Hmm? Huh? What's that? <coughs> oh, it must be. What's that? It's uh, a cat, like it was drawn by Simpsons One. Uh, Simpsons one. Season one, Simpsons. You know, with the side mouth and stuff? She looks hungry. Rawr. Yeah, one of those. Right, so, uh, Mimi thinks that wild, strange cats are friendly. What's wild, that? strange cats, and even cats as pets, are not friendly. They scram you, and they bite you, and the, the poop is all spiky, and it hurts, and... Eh. Uh, how did you... help you stay still little one <laughs> hello missy whoa no 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 <laughs> i wasn't very brave there i must be hungry and i need that key i told you didn't I tell you? Don't interact with strange cats, they'll scram your square in the face. Are you saying a Scottish accent for some reason? Right, so, um, we basically have to sort this cat out now. So head to the right. Uh, what we're going to do, the cat's going to jump through, but we need to just clear some leaves. It's literally a, a case of pressing the A button and moving the left stick left and to the right. Okay, another missable achievement coming up then. So all we got to do here is just interact with the cat five times in order to get the pst, pst, pst achievement. Probably could have uh, shaded that down a bit though.
So once we've got the PSST, PSST, PSST dot 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 achievement, we will head back up and into the house. We are going to go ahead and obviously grab some nibbly bits. 20 year old, although I suppose Nora hasn't been dead for that long. But anyway, head into the kitchen on the right hand side. There's one of the tables, there's one of the right hand side here. Some a little bit of a uh, cat food. Again, I'm wondering how long this has been here. My guess, a goddamn while. So before heading out again then, what you're going to do is go to the fridge, the fridge freezer, and interact with the letter on top to grab, uh, well, another letter. And then head back on yourself towards the camera there into the storage room to get yet another piece of cat stuff. Maybe he'll stop scramming you in the eyeballs now, which would be nice. So once you've interacted with Angry Cat, make sure to choose the second option here, homemade treats. Homemade treats is the correct answer. And then what you got to do, again, it's like a tiny little mini game where you've got to aim with the left stick, press the A button and just get him slowly coming towards you. Here. <laughs> Stupid cat. I got your key. Yeah, yeah. So let us, uh, well, let us do that. So what we're going to do, we're going to head to the obviously left-hand side here in this little garden area. Go to the back with the cave. And the key fits wonderful. You've got to do that same mini game again. Pop the key in, turn the... Turn the latch or whatever, and then in we go. Okay, there is another letter um, just to the left of us on top of the saw right there. Now, for <laughs> annoyingly, I tried to grab it and missed it this time. It doesn't matter though, because uh, in the next chapter, we start off here. So if you miss it now, again, don't panic. We'll grab it later on. It's honestly absolutely fine. So all we need to do for this bit then is uh, rotate the boat around, find the handprints, interact with them, and away we go again. What's that? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're up. I was going to do some gardening. Will you help me? Sure. What's in that room? Nothing you'd be interested in. Get dressed and meet me outside. And brush those teeth. <sighs> Darn. <clears throat> oh, oh. 
I mean, if she wanted the key that bad, she could have just um, grabbed a chair or something. But there we go. So uh, <laughs> jump into her bedroom. Uh, interact with the word here at the end of your bed. Excited. So that should be between 22 and 25 now for the words. And then what we're going to do is head obviously to the bathroom. We're going to take another uh, cheeky whizdical. And then we can go ahead, go to the sink here, and we're going to brush our teeth. But incredibly, Mimi doesn't actually open her mouth, so she's just brushing her lips and her beard. Incredible. Uh, so what you got to do then is obviously just use your uh, left stick and your right stick to pop toothbrush on, pop to toothpaste back. Very, very easy. But again, all she's doing is looking more like Santa Claus than actually brushing anything. So, well, it'll do. It got there, sort of. Now, nah, boy, you looking like, boy, you about to go down fishing there, down south, boy, you know, get your hat on there, we go, right, let's go. That house, how did I feel about it? I used to come, but, but something, my father and his mother became more distant. I did notice it back then. I felt that something was wrong, and they never spoke about it. Is that why I don't remember that summer? Why did she say, I'm dude? Is she Scottish now? Anyway, head down and interact with the uh, sticker right here. Again, just on the grass at the forefront of the screen. And you should be on 13 stickers right now, as you can see. Uh, head to the left, and you're going to find another word. Beautiful. Again, how do they know? <laughs> Once again, I'm just joking to myself. Right, head into the kitchen. The kitchen, the garden, well, close enough. Of course, Granny Nora. Why wouldn't I? A Aaron. And again, it's just another little mini game coming up here. Uh, but what we're going to do first, we're going to head to the left, uh, just in this little tool shed thing, to grab another sticker full of soil. And then we're going to go inside the cave again at the back. There is a tape on the left-hand side, on the barrel, as you can see. So make sure you, uh, old Alabama fishing boy, uh, pick that one up. And it's a new tape, which we don't know what it is. Okay, that'll do. Head to the right, ever so slightly, and we're going to find another word. Mysterious. Mysterious. Mysterious girls. And then you can just go, go left here on the tool bench and pick up the trowel. So... Once trowel is in completed and in hand, uh, we're going to head back out and help Grandmama. We get an automatic sticker as well here. The trowel, obviously. So speak to Granny Pig right here, and then again, it's just another little mini game then. So you've got to pull out all the weeds by pressing the A button and left stick. Uh, you can pot, put any flower that you want in. I chose rose because rose is always nice. Um, but again, you can't really get this one wrong. You've got to fill up the water, etc. Just um, follow along. If you do get stuck, the next thing you need to do sort of flashes. So you can't really get stuck.
Then this bloody beautiful man. We also get a new sticker. Prefer the rose, but a sticker will do instead. <laughs> Big Piggy went to market with Little Piggy. Both piggies way to go to market. Right, so what we're going to do is head to the right before uh, heading down with Grandmama. Uh, not quite yet. What we need to do is just overlook here. There's a blue icon here we're going to interact with. And once again, oh, there's also a word. Fresh word. Yo, fresh yo. Uh, so make sure to pick up that fresh word. Um, and then we can interact with the blue icon. And then all we're doing is just spamming the A button around 10 times once we got a camera. We're just going to go ahead and take another 10 pictures. Oh, even though it does say 9, you can take 10 because it'll just delete one and it does count. So go take 10 pictures and that will actually get us the Wheeze Titty achievement. I don't know what that's French for though. Wheeze Titty. Hmm. So there it is then, Wee's Titty. Uh, I'm glad they didn't put an S in front of that one. Um, otherwise, <laughs> that would have been hilarious though. But still, no, we, um, we've got the Squeeze Titty, uh, damn it, Wee's Titty achievement. So we can just back out and head down towards Grandmama now. Nora spoke about her life, about her travels. There was always a part of her that belonged somewhere else. I liked her. I can say it now. I loved that woman. So smart, so charming. And yes, sometimes her eyes looked sad. Dad used to say that I looked just like Nora when I was daydreaming. He hated that, of course. He disliked his mother and never explained why. So we've got the achievement of the market, but that is a long way for piggies to go, isn't it? This little piggy is tired now.
So what you're going to see then is like, uh, we're going to see a couple of faces here, five faces. So what we've got to do is just walk to each one, interact, there's a couple of stickers, tapes and words about, and then interact with the market bro. So first up, you can see our fat little head, so interact with uh, uh, Johnny Bravo chin right here. Uh, to go into his little market stall bit. On the right is a sticker that we can pick up. So make sure to pick that one up. It is the goat. It is me. And then just interact with Johnny Bravo Chin. So come back out uh, since he doesn't have what we need. We're so you stink. Uh, head up slightly and to the left and we can see what looks like an angry mechanic or something. But over onto the right, first of all, is yet a, another sticker. And this time it's quack quack. And then if we head to the left, we are going to find a tape, which is just chilling on the... Excuse me, ladies, can I just have your tapias? Thank you. And finally, there is a word right here as well. The word is going to be calm just behind these ladies. So once again, go ahead and speak to angry mechanic looking bro. No glue for your morning wood. That is annoying. Right, so we've got nothing at all. So head to the middle part. Uh, you'll have to slip through all these people here. Uh, and we'll just go straight up and interact with um, Big Cheeks right here. So first of all, head to the right where you're going to see yet another sticker. Oh, and a word apparently called weird. Uh, which I do, <laughs> which you probably just see me get. I was trying to grow, go for the sticker. But yes, it's a sticker full of food. And the word weird, which we will both pick up. Then interact with old Chungus Cheeks. Bruh, that's just leaves on a red tree. But it is actually rhubarb, so eh, close enough. Right, once we're out of the market, head down slightly. And this time we are going to uh, interact with Sweet Old Ladia. Another sticker here, right in the middle of the way, next to Baby with Mohawk, or something. Again, interact with Flower Ladia. Man, she, she looks like she really loves those flowers, jeez. She's looking like she really likes those high flowers. Oh, thank you, she gives us some tomato seeds. Um, what, I hope you, they, do these go up your nose? I hope not, because you are looking mighty off it, my friend. And lastly, but not leastly, we'll head down over to the right and we can see the guy with the biggest face I've ever seen, your old moon face. Right, uh, once we come up here then, we will grab another word just in front of these people. Uh, crowd, obviously, because, uh, what is it, what's the saying? One shake, two shake, three shake, you're playing with yourself as long as there's a crowd. It's just something like that, isn't it? Right, anyway, head up the steps. <laughs> well... Straight through the door, and here he is, old Moon Pie Head. You're going to speak to Moon Pie Head, and he will sort us out with a baguette. Wah -wah. So that's all done, and I also apologise for the very stereotypical wah -wah French noise there. Uh, yeah, I'm very sorry. So we will head back, head back to market, and we're going to head to Grandmama, who is in the bottom, of course. She's not in the bottom, she's at the bottom, sorry. Ignore that one. So speak to Grandmama, she's going to be like, You son of... Where the hell's my gluey wood? Since your grandpapa passed, I don't get no morning wood. No, 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 never mind. So, another achievement time. So what we need to do, you need to look for the kid that is running, and then quickly press the A button to take a picture of him. Uh, so you just have to keep moving around and keep your finger on the A button. Uh, listen out for the noise as well. As you can see, he will... There he is. Look, so he'll basically, he'll basically just keep going left. Uh, so that one is pretty easy, but that will get us the gotcha! Exclamation mark achievement. Well done, Mimi. Get a haircut, bro. Look, you scared the thief. He dropped his bag. Everything he stole is in it. Funny. 
Now that I think about it, it's like she knew who the thief was. Why don't you take back all the stolen stuff? I'm sure the sellers will be pleased. Good idea! Thank you, Mimi! Well done, Mimi. Let's head home now. I remember now how good it felt. Helping other people, giving up my time for them. How come I'd forgotten all that? By the way, I only said to Mimi, get a haircut because I'm jealous because I've got none. Uh, right, so remember, um, hopefully you collected the letter before doing that. If not, remember to collect the letter right now. Do it now. There it is. So make sure to collect that. We've obviously also started chapter four as well. And now we're in. God, what a fun hour we've had. Huh? It's been fantastic. Uh, so we can head back out now. Uh, we're all done with this section. So what we can do is just head straight down. Uh, back into the house. Uh, again, you can read your messages if you want, but it's probably your dad just being angry, so screw that. Uh, so back into the kitchen, um, what we're going to do, we're going to make a brew now, and this is another achievement, like the milk one. Um, now, so basically we've got to fill the mug without wasting water, so, uh, and obviously you'll get a letter here as well. Now this one done my head in, not because it was hard, but for so I'd done this about seven or eight times, and the achievement just would not unlock, and I Pretty positive I did not waste any water. So if that does happen to you, what I ended up having to do was just hard restart in my Xbox, and then it worked after that one, so just be careful of that. But again, it's literally just, you know, filling up the water, pressing the button, etc, etc. Uh, all very easy stuff. And again, uh, any mug you want, any uh, tea you want, it literally does not matter. Now, I was wondering if it did matter, and that's why the achievement wasn't unlocking. But as it turns out, nay, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. So, we will obviously pop the tea in the strainer. After we... Now, also, with uh, some of these things, you may have to move the camera up or down, or move the pointer up or down in order to interact with the stuff. So now we will put, this is where the achievement is going to be, by the way, we'll pop this into the mug, and again, just make sure to not waste any water. If the achievement doesn't unlock straight after you do this, quit out of the main menu, continue back in, and you'll just have to redo um, all the Ketley stuff again. So again, I don't know if it's got to be directly in the middle or what, but for some reason it just would not unlock for me. Finally did unlock for me, so there we go then. Um, but yeah, so if this achievement doesn't unlock now, make sure to quit out and continue before you finish the minigame. Otherwise, you'll have to play uh, the first hour once again. But there we go. We got a brew and she it's too hot. Too hot to handle. Well, yeah, man. But anyway, that will be the sniper achievement done. Happy days. Right, now what we can do is head up the stairs. And then what we can do now is actually head into the left because we can... Amazingly, she just left the key there all the time. 
Incredible, huh? So. So, me, 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 let us pick up a letter which is on the right, what uh, sort of looks like a bookshelf. There is another letter, plus we'll be getting the recorder. Oh, so soon. Oh, so soon. And here it is then. So if we just have a look at the key pad right here, and the code is 275, no, 7, sorry, no, 7245. So 7245, that's the actual code, 7245, 7245. If you want me to say it again, I will, 7245, just in case you didn't get it. And there is the recorder, which is now basically going to be directly in front of us, which we'll pick up. And lovely, we'll get the achievement as well. Now, because I'm playing this early, the amount of rare achievements unlocking are <laughs> blamissimo. Uh, so it is literally just a case then you plug the headphone jack into not this side, but the other side, and then plug the uh, microphone into the other side. And uh, yeah, jobsy nan's uncle boy. Here. Okay. Now, did you think it was going to be dead bodies or something? Because I actually did. I thought it was going to turn into a real dark game, which I hope somebody releases a game like that soon. All cute, and then your Nan's a serial uh, killer. Right, pick up the secrets word from the floor, which is just directly in front of us as we start. Then over to the left to grab another tape. Uh, but that is a good idea for a game, isn't it? All cutie. Hi, Nan. Your nanny is a kill serial killer. Uh, on the vinyl desk... Um... Booth thing, a gramophone, dictaphone, whatever phone it is, there's a new sticker. And if we head around to the left on the box, there is another sticker. And yar, matey, it's full of gin, rum, and the good stuff, the treasure. Right, intel, inter, interact, interact with the keypad, and that'll get the train going. Now we can start um, doing some recording stuffs. Which, of course, again, you will have to do at the same time. Remember, there is no chapter select, so you've got to do these all perfect at the same time. So, we picked up the recorder. Now, what we're going to do then is, it's exactly the same as the camera. So, you just got to press the A button to aim, put it onto a specific point, wherever the noise is coming from. Press the A button, and it'll do it. So, obviously, this time, what we're looking at is the train. So, once the train starts going, press the A button. Make sure to press the A button now. If not, like I didn't do for some reason, that's fine. We're just going to head to the left. Wait till the train comes over the tracks the other side. Bam. And then you'll know when you've got it right when you get this little icon here saying that you've got a new tape. So that should be sound one. And um, also, yes, we are going to take another 10 pictures. Sorry. So take another 10 pictures as well. So obviously the recorder's up on the D-pad. Press down on the D-pad to get your camera up. Take a 10 pictures. Yeah, baby.
<laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, sorry. The door was open and... It's all right. This place is a very special place. Your grandfather and I used it to express ourselves. Since he passed away, I... I've kept it to myself. It's a bit like a temple, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's not good to do that, I think. Places, objects, they should have many lives. Just like that tape recorder you found. I should have asked. Perhaps, but now it's yours. Would you like to come down and help me fix the kayak? Yes! Places, objects, should have many lives. Yay, we're gonna go kayaking soon! But first of all, we've obviously got to repair it. So head back into these uh, sort of main house area, into the house, as it were. Uh, we're gonna head back upstairs, go to the right, and take another poopsicle. You must be needing a dumpsicle by now. Either way, go to the toilet. All right, then we all done. We all done. Sitting on a toilet. <laughs> Sitting on a toilet. <laughs> now flush. Right now, what I am also going to be doing here, I am going to be filling out all. Uh, the, the, I'm going to basically create all twenty pages in the binder now. So basically, uh, like I said a little bit earlier on, um, if you get to chapter seven and you still haven't created twenty pages of the binder, I'm not sure if it's different on. PlayStation or Xbox or if the devs um, remove the feature in chapter 7, but you can't actually get into your binder So what you'd have to do if you get to chapter 7 and you haven't got that yet The Marcel Proust achievement for creating 20 pages in the binder You'll have to replay the entire game until you get up to the binder section again So that is why I'm just doing it now and again What you can do is literally when you go into the creation page on the left hand side You can see obviously one two three and four. They are the chapters so you can just go up to one Create a new page. There we go. There's our first one there. It's just getting started for creating five. So you can literally do what you want. You can stay on chapter two and just create 20 on there. Whatever. It literally does not matter. Um, just as long as you are getting all the pages down. 20 pages in the binder. Again, it doesn't matter what chapter you're doing it in. doesn't matter what stickers or anything you're popping it in. Uh, as I said, as long as you've got to 20. It's, again, I'm just, I'm just getting this one out of the way now. Because I know that I would be peed off, and I know that I would pee a lot of people off if I left it too late, and we'd all have to start a new game again. Um, obviously, there was a bit of an edit there, so you probably have to pause the video, um, and just get the 20 pages in the binder out of the way again. Best to do it now, and then it's done. And then you don't have to worry about missing it. So once it is done, though, we can come back in, out, shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey, and you stick it around. Into the cave we go. Meh, meh, meh. Whoa, the stinky pokey. Right, so what we're going to do, we can head down on the right. Just on the floor, though, is another sticker. And directly to the right of you is a tape as well. So again, obviously, you've got the telescope sticker. And make sure to grab the tape as very, 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 very. And then once this is done, I'm pretty sure there's nothing else here. There may be a word. There is a word, yes. Shiny. Shiny like my head. Ah, off the sun. <laughs> Right, anyway, once you've got the three, like I said, one tape, one sticker, one word, interact with the uh, kayak right here, and all you got to do is uh, pop some glue on it, on all three of the broken bits, and then just uh, whatever shape it is, pop it down. Easy stuff. Okay. Okay. 
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I can't wait to go kayaking, ma'am. Uh, but first, what we're going to do then, we're going to skip, hop, skip, step, and jump all across the stones until we get to the blue icon again at the bottom. And we are going for sound two, which will also get us another achievement for just listen. So if we aim our little recorder again, press up on the D-pad to get it out, get the recorder out, and directly in front of you then, where the sort of stones are, that'll do, that's sound two. So again, on the left-hand side, as you see, it'll pop up. Um, you will get number two, and I believe you also get number three as well for the hot air balloons. So yes, uh, make sure to record the hot air balloons. And that will be 3 out of 14. I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, are we going to be taking any pictures? I think we're going to take some pictures, man. You might know we're not taking any pictures, man. Not this time. Right, so jump all the way across back and head into the kayak. So this is easy enough then, all you need to do is just, you don't have to avoid anything, you don't have to take your time or be careful or whatever, just keep going straight on until you see an exclamation mark. And now, the weather forecast for the southwest. The next few days will continue hot and sunny, with temperatures up to 36 degrees Celsius. Enjoy it while it lasts, as the low-pressure area over England might be heading our way. Ah, this feels good. Oh, that's right. This feels good. Wake up! Got to get a little uh, bit of Lamb of God uh, memento, memento mori in there. Anybody know Lamb of God? Yeah, that's that's a class. That's a cracking song, that one. Uh, but anyway, we have stuff blown away. One tiny little gust of wind and the crap's blown away. Right, so that's what we got to do. A couple of things on the beach that we're going to grab before we help out go grandmama mama. First one, there is a sticker just by the rock. It can be kind of hard to tell where you're at, but there is another sticker. Um, those reeds, not weeds, but just reeds. And um, I think that's it then. So you interact with the picnic basket, and then what we're going to do is get changed by hiding behind the bush. And then we can just jump in. Jump in the river. Okay, so, uh, first things first then, what we're going to do, oh man, that water does look good. Um, so, as you can see, there's like little bubbles, as you can see right there, so what you need to do is press the A button to go down, and then just hold your left or right hand by the items, just to pick them up. There we go, and until the timer runs out, there we go, obviously you've got a little health bar there, so make sure, you know, you don't die and stuff. And then there's going to be another sticker, which is going to be on the rock. Just uh, if you c come towards the screen, you can see another sticker on the rock. You'll have to go to the other side. 
and pick that one up. And then you've got another two items, one in the southern middle of the lake and one at the top left-hand corner. Something in the forest. Can I go and have a it look? It was probably just a cat, but go on, no problem. Have a yeah, good time. I will. Thank you. So this part is just another very easy bit. All we'll be doing is pressing the A button to climb up stuff. There will be a whole bunch of words. So just make sure, uh, there'll be a whole bunch of words that are, that are kind of impossible to miss. You can't really miss these ones. They're right in front of your face. Just remember and make sure to pick them up.
This is... Wow! Beautiful. I should take a picture. What are you doing here? This is my patch. No one's allowed. You're the thief from the market! I'm not a thief. Never see that word again. I'm just... borrowing. Borrowing? That's not... They'll get their things back, and more, as soon as I find the Coulobre's treasure. The Coulobre? A giant dragon that sleeps at the bottom of the Dordogne, guarding a big treasure. Enough to pay back the people from the market? Enough so everyone will like me. He'll see. Do you need help? To find the treasure, I mean? Help? You're from the city, right? How could a city girl help me find the Coulobre? I'm an explorer. Ha! Don't make me laugh. If I wasn't an explorer, I wouldn't have climbed up here by myself. Fine. Fine. Well, maybe I should test you. Test? There's a puzzle in here. Solve it. And I'll decide if I can trust you, city girl. But first, catch! What a, uh... Mimi, are you all right? Don't worry, I'm fine! What is wrong with you? He's gone. Let's meet in my secret lair tomorrow! If you solve my puzzle! <laughs> I'll show him! He'll see if I'm not an explorer! So yeah, and then after all that fun, get changed, dive in the water, grab the puzzle pieces, which is which will of course be usually completely soaking, but video games logic, nah, it's all good, man. So, yar, yet been let another uh, 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 mini game. 
Very easy. So what we've got to do then is just uh, grab the letter, take all the pieces out, and then all you're doing is literally just put in um, all the stickers in the correct parts. That's literally it. Nice and easy if you follow along. So this is another easy bit then, all you got to do is uh, press the A button here on the balloon and then press the A button over on the pebbles uh, with the first one and then finally interact with the bridge at the bottom, so just press the A button with the bridge and then up to uh, Renault's house, old, uh, old big ears there and then just interact with the sort of middle of the two crosses to press, uh, to circle that one and we know where it is now, hooray! So if we now head to the right, that's where we're going, we're heading to the right. Press the A button on the tree. And then what's going to happen is you're going to have to remember this sort of aiming game you've done earlier. Yes, you need to uh, interact with you who and then sort of um, just uh, direct it. It can go anywhere on the words as long as they smash the words in. Okay, right, so we've got just under an hour left now, so it's not too bad, we're flying through it, aren't we, once again? Right, chapter 5, The Caves, where there's another letter. Um, if we look on the left-hand side, on the gramophone, dictaphone, coctophone, choctophone, there is another letter which we would grab, and then we're going to head just downstairs. Heading outside of the front door, we're going to go to the right and interact with the same tree we just did with little me me me. Uh, interact with the jar, again, take the jar from the tree trunk, open it up, and interact with both of the items in there, or three of the items in there, sorry. And 
we're back as me, 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 me. Right, first things first, make sure you piddle yourself on the toilet and that it's not on the floor because Nora ain't cleaning that shit up again, you know? No way. Right, so once that is done, obviously remember we always got to be using the toilet as much as we can, or once every day at least. Heading out of the bathroom. Oh, uh, we're downstairs. Ah, no. <laughs> Uh, head into our bedroom first, though. Uh, important to do that because there is a tape on our little dresser on the right. Okay, head into the living room on the left first. You can hear Nora snoring. <laughs> Snorer. <laughs> uh, but make sure to pick up the tape again right in front of us on the table. For some reason, there's bubbles coming out of Nora's head. I'm just going to have to go and call an ambulance, I think. Snorer, are you okay? Uh, there is a word anyway. Sneaky, right by the boots of Snorer Nora. So make sure to pick up that word. Obviously, the tape off the table, the word sneaky, and then we can head outside. And let's do it, man. Let's go down. Oh, wait. In fact, before we head down, there is a sticker, which I did just run past. So apologies about that. There is a sticker right there with the ladybird. So make sure to grab that before heading out. Once we've done that, then we can now head back to the right. We're going to interact with the eye icon once again. And we are going to get some sounds going. So there should be four sounds in this particular area. Uh, obviously, we need to press up on the D-pad to get your... Uh, recorder going. What's the whole bunch of stuff going on? Oh, we're taking pictures first, do we? Okay, apparently we're taking pictures first. So, <laughs> once again, then, take 10 pictures and then we'll do the recorder stuff. Okay then, so now we've got the recorder up again. There we go, we've taken nine. You could probably take another picture for 10 if you wanted, but it doesn't matter if you don't. Interact with the town in the sort of right-hand corner first of all. And that should be uh, number four for you. Next up, uh, again, press the A button to capture. And then just in front of us, what looks like the sort of farm or something is a rooster going, cock a doodle doo bra. And then just to the left of that ever so slightly, if you look at the trees and the sort of riv river banks, that is another one. That should be number six. And finally, number seven then, it will be the town or the couple of houses here on the left. And that'll do it. Remember, we've only got seven out of 14 to go. We've only got 14 to grab. So seven's already done. So let's back out, quit out. Again, make sure that you've got the 10 pictures and you've got at least, uh, it should now be up to seven uh, recording sounds. Otherwise, we can just head down to the pond, riverbank. I was so carefree, off to meet a ten-year-old thief. <laughs> I feel like I'm remembering someone else's life. Right, again, I do make a little mistake by going down, because there's a little word here with peace just to the left of where we were standing there. Um, so, again, apologies about that one. But if we head... Right here, then, there is the word PICE. PICE. There it is. PICE, broski. So we can head back down. And we are going to grab another word, summer. Which, uh, summer in other countries is incredible. Summer in the UK is like, you know, Satan's jizzing on you himself. Uh, or peeing on you, or whatever the, you know. Basically, UK summer sucks. Uh, interact with the um, blue icon here to go down to the where we uh, took the pictures earlier with the hot air balloons and stuff. With the Walkman, put it all the way over to the right hand side and you will get the 8 sound. It's the only one that we've got here, but you'll get another achievement there. Did you hear that? Uh, and it was just by the trees right in front of us now. 
and that's it. So we can head back over the steps into the uh, kayak and then we're just going to continue on the straight and narrow path until we find the next exclamation mark. It does, bro. Uh, Mimi's got this kayaking expert thing down. By in fact, she probably has never kayaked in her life. So fair dues to her. Fair dues. Okay, right. There's going to be a word as we come towards the screen with dark, the dark. Uh, pick up the jar. So we picked up the word, the jar. If we go straight in front of us now, there it is. And then what we have to do is play another little mini game. So if we come into the cave, we can now play mini game. Wait, with your right hand, you've got to try and put the firefly into the jar with your left hand so it can be a bit weird this one can be very weird the sort of control but once you get all three in jobs are good Right, so we're all good. We got a sticker. Now we can continue on to the right. Now this is just like when we were following, um, or when we were climbing up the mountain towards Renod first. It's literally just the same thing. So there will be six words, I believe, in this section. All will be directly in your face, but remember to pick every one of these words up. Otherwise, again, you'll have to start a new playthrough. And man, we're getting close to the end of the game, so we don't want to be doing that. But it is just a case of uh, following the very linear path to the right, jumping over some stuff, and remember to collect the words every time you see one. Again, this should be six.
Thanks for your help. I thought you were a great explorer. I am. Wow, this is... This is very, very cool. I know. These are things I collected through the years. And you haven't seen anything yet. Hello, Renault. You are the name of a car. Incredible. Right, so what we can do is just head back into this little area here, and we are just going to interact with the book that is at the back. Thankfully, the book does not, uh, it, there's not a whole bunch of Renault poses in it um, with uh, just the Speedos on, so we're happy with that one. Right, we are going to get um, up to 13 noises now. So the first one you're going to capture is just slightly to the left in these bunch of trees right here. So that should put you up to nine. Just to the right of it, slightly right in the middle where the house is, that is going to be another one we can capture. Woof, woof. And now from here we go slightly to the right again, and it's basically just the road with a bunch of trees and a farm by it or something. That should be number 11. And then we can just head down ever so slightly, basically directly in front of us where you're looking at some more trees and stuff. I don't know what that noise is supposed to be. And then one more if we uh, have a look um, up. So if we go up from here... It's more or less just the town again, but slightly to the left this time. So that should be all five of those done. You should now be on 13. So that should be good as hell. And then I believe we can just... We're going to take some pictures here. I think we are going to take some pictures, bruh. Let's do it. Yes. So once again, take... Oh, in fact, we can only take one picture here. So never mind. So we'll take the one picture. That'll do. And as you can see on the, the left there, I've got up to 40 now. So... Um, with the next time, we will get the achievement. This place is awesome! Well, I have something even cooler. Cooler than this? You have books, fishing rods, and a wonderful view. This is truly remarkable. Look at this beauty! <laughs> I can cheat in class, and I can even store ten phone numbers! Ten! No way! Can I see it? No, you can't. It's, uh, it's a gift from my teacher. Oh. But it's a secret. You can't say a word to anyone, okay? You're very lucky, Renaud. And I won't tell a soul. Thank you, Mimi. That means a lot. Right, so this is another achievement where you have to get it right first time. Again, if you end up missing it, um, you can just press the main menu, quit out, and con and uh, start and continue again. So we, all you got to do then is follow exactly what he's done. So on the left stick, you need to press up, first of all, and then right. E e e e then, as you can see, this time we're going up, right, and left. So that's up, right, and left. E, 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 e. And lastly, but not at least leastly, we're going up, right, left and up so that's up right left and up and once you've done that the achievement will unlock and we are good to go but again if you do make a mistake quickly quit out and continue to start back at the beginning again thank you i am an outstanding imitator First stars will be coming out soon. 
Oh no! I, I have to go! See you tomorrow! <laughs> Cause tomorrow we're hunting the Coulabre! to yourself. It sounds like I was a monster. I worked, Fabrice, and oh my god, who says that to their mother? What has Mimi got to do with this? She's independent and she's having fun. Right, so after all that excitement with arguments and going me, me, we are going to bust our bowels out. So, um, well, let's go to the toilet and poop them out, bro. Poop them. Right, so once we're done, we can head outside. We're gonna head to the left into the little gardeny area where old Nanny Pigs is. Oh, you want some hot cocoa, do ya? No, it is bloody boiling. And again, it's just a whole lot of conversation going on right now. Chapter 6, man, this be the picnic. Picnic. Right, so now we are looking for a particular scarf. So we're going to head inside. Um, and we're going to head to the right into the kitchen. And if we head in, uh, but sort of back towards the storage room again, we can find yet another letter, which is just high up on one of the shelves there. So it should be on, as you can see, 13 letters now. Right, once that's done, we can head back out. <coughs> Uh, this time, uh, we didn't even drink our brew earlier, so after all that, bloody sniper in and stuff, we didn't even drink that brew! Can't waste a good cup of tea, man. Eh. So, head to the right, we're going to go into Nora's bedroom this time, <laughs> I wonder what else we will find. It smells funny in here, Nora, didn't you clean before you died? No. Anyway, there's another letter here, just onto the left, which is on this sort of uh, little bench chair thing. So that is yet another... Uh, letter, sorry, I don't know what the hell was uh, mapping me then. Uh, so, interact with the wardrobe, we're going to move the clothes. Uh, the scarf is just behind the clothes, so you'll have to move the clothes back to the left and interact with the scarf. Try it again. All right, there we go, look. Now we can pick it up. Now you've got to actually interact with the scarf on you and a little photo will fall out. Wait.
going? To play outside with a friend. A friend? I'd better check just to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Home. I have to get back for lunch. Oh. All right. Don't you have to get home? Nah. Nobody cares about me. I'll stay here, I think. Hey, let's continue our search tomorrow, okay? Yeah, sure. Um, Grandma? 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 Gah! Don't wake an old lady up. You'll give her a, you'll give her a goddamn stroke attack, man. You. Man, that even scared me as well. Jeez, why do people wake you up like that? And we can make something easy to eat. A picnic. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah. All right, so we've got a bit of cooking to do. But before we do that, uh, this is more of a just-in-case thing. We're actually going to go and take another whiz. Um, again, uh, this is technically still on the same day, but you never know. It's just in case. Uh, but before we do that, then, on the bench, there is another new tape. So we've picked that tape up. Now we're going to go and take another whizticle. Right, and also, if you've noticed, we haven't been washing our hands as well, so now we're going to go and make food and cut potatoes and stuff um, without washing our hands. So we, we're, we're effectively uh, we're, we're effectively just uh, taking a wee in all over these potatoes and stuff. Well, that'll do. So again, you can pick uh, some of the dialogue options. Again, it's another sort of easy mini game. What all we've got to do is pick up the knife, press the A button, um, mash the A button there to cut the potatoes, the garlic, and just... Yeah, just follow along. It is generally very easy, nice and chilled. But again, remember, you haven't washed your hands, so you're literally just effectively weeing in your grandma's mouth. Beautiful. So we got a new top, a new top, a new tape, and we've got some red hot potatoes with some garlic. That's a nice sounding lunch, isn't it? Salt and pepper, garlic and potatoes. Nice. Right, head to the left, interact with the tape here on the bench, or on the table, sorry, whichever one it is, and that'll be job done. Now we can just follow old grandmama once again. But again, before you follow old grandmama with a bad hip, we're going to go to the right. 
uh, head up to the blue icon again, and this is where we're actually going to get our last, uh, our next two achievements for the last sound, and for taking 50 pictures throughout the entirety of the game. So, again, we've only got one sound left to get, so pop out your recording device, your Walkman recorder, uh, press the A button to aim and put it directly in front of you there, the big tree with a farm or whatever it is, and... Oh no, it wasn't that one. Ah, oh, crap it, sorry. Um, it's the house... What the hell was that thing? Oh, it's the town on the left-hand side. Sorry, sorry. So, town on the left-hand side, that will now get you the Jean-Claude Rocher achievement. I hope I said that second name right. Now, just take another ten pictures and you will get the Sarah Moon achievement. Or, if you say it in French, Sarah Moon. Right? Right? Uh, no. Noisy sloicy mate. Right, now we can just go ahead and follow Grandmama. We will be coming up soon uh, to our last couple of words and all that stuff as well. All the crap we've been collecting, it's finally going to be done. And my ideas. I think she enjoyed it. But if you just stand over to the left-hand side, don't worry about Snora and Nora for now. Uh, just stand around this area and then as soon as the dialogue is finished, there's going to be another sticker for us to collect. Yes. All your whims. And just at the bottom, before we head down, we're going to grab another word. Dandelion. I don't think lions are that dandy in all fairness, but uh, well, here we go. So once that one is done, we can now actually head back down. Make sure to go on your left, or Mimi's left or whatever, to grab another sticker on the floor. And this time we've got a beaver from Beaverton. Fantastic. And then over to the right-hand side, there's going to be another word, I believe, just chilling around here somewhere. There it is. Snook. Everyone's favourite word, that is. That is the people's favourite word. Snack. Then you can just go straight in the kayak, and again, we're just heading forward to the next exclamation point us. Once we're on the beach, there's going to be yet another sticker. A lot of collectibles in this game, but we are going to grab another sticker. It's right by your old granny pig's um, picnic basket, and it's some more leaves. Yeah, you can't beat leaves, can you? Uh, right from here, then, if we go up, not heading straight up, we're going to grab another word called together. And in fact, that is the last word. Dictionary is not an option, so that should now be your last word. Providing you be following along, hopefully you have, and you've collected all the words that you will get that achievement there. Um, and we're also going to get Pimp Your Laptop as well, um, because you're going to get an automatic sticker after we do this whole um, toy thing, and that'll get you the Pimp Your Laptop uh, 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 achievement.
kind of abomination is that? Nora knew Renault, and he knew my grandfather. Something bad had happened between them. I see it now. I ran so fast, and for so long, I wasn't angry anymore. I just felt empty and sad. Why? Why? Ugh. I'm so sick of this family. I must calm down. I must calm down. The binder! Good idea, Mania. Good idea. So, the last two chapters then, very short, the Colobre, the Colobra. Um, now, like I said, uh, from chapter 7, we will not be able to interact with our binder as we interact with the letter on the bed. So, we won't be able to interact with our binders. Hopefully, you got the 20-page binder achievement when I told you to earlier on. Uh, so, once we've collected the letter on the bed, we can back out of Snora Nora's room into our room and collect another letter. Man, she, uh, there's a lot of letters just chilling in very specific locations. So as I can see, top right-hand corner should now be on 16 out of 16. Heading downstairs, there's a noise all of a sudden. And what we're going to do then is head into the left to go into the living room. And if we head left again, past the settee, there's a newspaper here. So what you need to do is just pull the watch. So interact with the watch, the newspaper will fall down. Get the newspapers out of the way. Watch is found. You.
Well done, my mate. That's like when people call a meme a meme. -y. Oh, God, how I, how I love those people. I, I'm just joking again. Obviously, of course, that's all I do is joke. I am the class clown, of course. Right, so we're going to go back into uh, Nori Snorri's room. And this is actually where the last tape is going to be. So again, providing you've been following along lovely, you will now get the Archivist achievement. Hey, you don't have to listen to the whole message as well, so we can... <laughs> pony. Oh, I wonder what that could be. Uh, definitely something that is not something. Oh, man, you snore like pig. Right, remember, before we go, we need to go into the bathroom. This is going to be the last time we're going to use the toilet. Because uh, we're apparently we're just going to go and piss ourselves in the wilderness. Uh, but you will get the achievement. So you got the achievement for the last tape. You'll get the the achievement for um, whizzing yourself for the last time. Like a Swiss clock. <laughs> Which I found is a very funny achievement name, actually. And then we can just head downstairs. Yeah, let's get out of it. We've got literally nothing more to collect now. So you don't... Again, as long as you've got all the achievements, you've got note to worry about. So we're heading down, we're basically going to head into the kayaking and it's going to start getting a little floody. The path I once knew like the back of my hand was different. I only had one thing in mind. Fixing the watch. Fixing Renault and Nora. So, if you want to hit obstacles, that's literally fine. You're supposed to hit obstacles because we, um, after about three or four trees that we hit, you end up flipping over and then we start droning, which is, which is nice. So, just go into all of the tree trunks that you can. By the way, I do want to ask a question, right? Between America and Britain, again, right? Or sort of America and maybe Europe, but potentially Britain, maybe, usually. Why every time America gets a flood, it's like this, ridiculously, like, unbelievable. And then Britain gets a flood, and it's like, you know, it goes up to your shoes a little bit, and then all, all British people are like, oh my god, the flood, so bad, so bad. And then Japan, bloody hell, they get it worse than anyone. But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, us British people, we, we do have it good, but we can be dramatic with stuff. Like powerful winds when it blows bins over and stuff. Oh, did you hear the wind last night? Oh my gosh, it was disgusting. And then in America, you've just got tornadoes every couple of days or so. It's just <laughs> fair dues. So again, this is just another um, continue going forward. You're going to interact with three letters. And then we are finally going to meet Zelukulukaka blah, 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 blah.
sink my kayak? You didn't do it on purpose. I get it. I don't blame you. Could you please... I... think I remember. Mimi! Mimi! Oh no! Mimi! Ready? It's called a meme, by the way, not a meme. Uh, right, so this bit you do have to avoid the obstacles. Whenever you see a tree trunk coming towards your face, make sure to press the A button to duck under. There's no achievement tied to this, so if you die, you'll just start from the beginning again. Uh, but again, like I said, as soon as you see the A uh, button prompt on screen, obviously press it, or if you see a log coming towards your face, you better press it. So, little mini game here where you've just got to pull all of the uh, branches off Mimi, and then we're going to be finally coming up to our final do it right first time achievements, uh, which is the CPR one. Now, again, obviously, with the CPR, if you do end up missing it or getting it wrong, uh, quit out to the main menu and press continue, and you'll start from the beginning of the CPR game. But basically, what you're going to see is one big circle on screen, one outer circle, one inner circle. And then you're going to see, you've got to get it basically right in the middle with the line. So you'll be able to see. It's it's easier to see than it is for me to explain. But um, yeah, but it, it, they basically come quite quickly. Four times and then you've got to do it. Uh, you've got to do this three times. So there it is. So one, two, three, four. And then you've just got to do this another two times. And that's it. Drowned here. Almost died. Forgot everything. So that's what happens. She almost died, man. Right, anyway, you can see little lines coming from the bush. All you gotta do is go from the right side bush to the left. And it's going to be a little Renault. So for the very, 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 very final act of the game, all you're going to be doing then is picking up a bunch of these items, and then when you pick up your binder last, there's the abomination toy, by the way. He's got two eyes with a stick sticking out of it. That must hurt on the daily. Uh, interact with the letter on the very right-hand side. You can see it just shimmering and shining. 
and kaboom. Your last two achievements will now unlock. You should get the end, dot, 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 or the beginning. So I do hope there is actually another game of this. That would be fantastic because this was very, very enjoyable. You'll also get the postman achievement as well. All that's left to watch then is just the final cutscene, which I will leave you here so you can enjoy it in peace. So just want to say thank you so, so much for um, uh, watching the guide. I do hope that it helped and that you enjoyed the game. If the guide helped, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members again. The legends of the highest order again. And I shall see you in the next Game Pass gaming, guys and gals. Big ol' love! Oh, by the way, you should have 31 achievements as well if you want to double check that. Okay, bye! But the past is the past. What's done is done. Oh, Mimi, my dear Mimi. I wish I could say these words to you in person, rather than in a letter. I told you once, places, objects, people have many different lives. Life is a long and precious story, so you have to write your own. Explore your life like a beautiful valley on a hot summer's day. Record the colors and the sounds around you like you did back then. Are you sure it's the same cat? 100% sure. I swear. Take a deep breath before every challenge and after every success. And more importantly, tell everyone about life, about the highs and the lows. Share it without holding back. My dearest Mimi, I'm sorry. I'm grateful. I'm leaving happy. Your Nora.